Alrighty, well this is the snow videos. Um, <laughs> viewfinder in my better camera doesn't work. I tried to use it for filming and I didn't realise I had the focus zoomed out because I couldn't see because the bloody viewfinder is dead on it. And the image stabilisation really stuffs around so I think that camera uh, yeah, he's getting at the end of its lifespan. For a Sony, it's been terribly unreliable device. But anyway, this is what we got. Okay, breaking news, people. Um, seems it has snowed, and I'm travelling there. I'm about six miles away from where it is. <laughs> I'm not joking. A car just come the other way. Friggin' hood covered in snow all over the bottom of the windscreen. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? It's definitely true. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Temperature's still sitting about 48 Fahrenheit. Um, but, honestly, it's 10 k's away, which I believe is about 6 miles up the road. And uh, I tell you what, I wasn't ready to see that car with snow all over the fucking hood. I haven't driven 6 miles still. And, uh, yeah. So this will be my first time seeing snow, so I might flip the fuck out when I see it. Might be just about in tears. Um, I don't know if this is the only place. I suspect it might also be on the mountain, but I mean, holy fucking cow, when you see a car driving towards you covered in fucking snow, we're obviously getting pretty close. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Ooh, it's crunching underfoot. I've never felt that, actually. Ooh. Ooh, that's strange. It crunches under your feet. Ooh. That is... That's strange. Hmm. Tell you what, <coughs> we'll be walking around in this in this shed. Shit, that wind is cold. Car's reading four degrees Celsius, which is about oh, what would that be? Forty-six Fahrenheit, something like that. Trying to put it in my bloody pocket. Oh, oh, that's a few inches. Now it's actual snow, just sleet. Seems very fine. Yeah, very powdery. I don't like that. I can't see little crystals, but then again, it mightn't exactly be, uh, oh, in the position to, uh, I don't know how small snow crystals are because I've never seen them before. I do know one thing. Oh. Oh. And the one thing is you don't want to put your hand in water. Crunch. 
crunch, crunch, crunch. I'm really not used to that feeling under my feet. It sort of peters out here. There's that one. One of the ones. I should have got that on the big camera. Fingers crossed. You would have got a better image of, I think it's that one back there if the cops hadn't have been walking down the street. Hmm. Yeah, not quite as exciting as I was hoping. I was really expecting to see little crystals. It is very powdery though. It's like blooming super fine snow cones. I was hoping I could see little crystals, but you know the little crystals I'm talking about. I'll break it open a bit more. I don't know, guys. I don't know if snow flakes as they call them, are actually uh, visible crystalline structures. This just seems like a whole bunch of powder. I assume snowflakes are uh, visible to the naked eye. Socks out here either. Fortunately, I got the new boots on, so they're not leaking because they're only about a week old, two weeks old. May only be like highly padded sleet. It's not very bright out here, actually. Same, that should be no excuse for me seeing the actual flakes if they are actual flakes. Oh. Some of it, as you can see, is actually just starting to melt. I heard about this. Oh, when was it? It's supposed to take me nearly an hour to get here. Bush, which is chronic around this area. A oh, whole blasted roads full of briar bush, briar bush down there. Bit of luck you didn't see me number plate then. <laughs> Poor sheep out there grazing amongst the um, sleet or snow, whatever the hell it is. Oh. I've got a feeling that, yeah, that mightn't go any high, but the other road will. I'm going to take both roads anyway and see where we get here. There we go. She's all over the blooming shop. There's a sheep. <laughs> um, shit. She, yeah. It's been a bit of a wind drift. Let's have a look at this stuff. This would be pretty deep, actually. Get the other stupid camera again. I don't know if it's even giving me an image. Oh, yes. Oh, we cold now with this wind. Macaroni. Gee, yeah. They've got a few inches here. Yeah, it's over top of your boots. Oh, dumbass. Of course it's gold.
no camera rolling here. There's a little bit of wind noise. Set the camera on my left ear. You know. Try and break this up and have a little look. I don't think we've got any uh, snowflakes as such. It's a very fine crystalline structure, though, I'll tell you that. It's very, very powdery. No actual snowflake structure though, not that I can see. As I was saying before, it's sort of dark. It's fucking windy. Uh. Yeah. It's a little bit disappointing, I expected to see these magical little Ooh, star shapes, hang on, I almost dropped the other camera. Turn the other camera off, I think it's just a pain in the butt. Let's see how deep it is. That's, yeah, that's pretty good. Actually, I've got a tape measure in my car. I might have to go measure that hole in a minute when I take my foot out. Yeah, as I was saying, this is obviously snow drift here. You can just tell the way it's all come back from the, uh, the ones over there. Um, just the way it's all streaking backwards. Anyway, I've got a few photos of this. Yeah, ham and eggers. Ten and a half inch snow drift. <laughs> Pretty good for the first time getting a close up look to see a ten and a half inch snow drift as opposed to just, uh, you know, half an inch or an inch or something. Crunching all this down here. Ooh, man. Strange walk on this stuff. Sort of as a bit how I imagined it in a way how you stand and it sort of goes and sort of drops underneath you. See, I did uh, work in a freezer room for a short while uh, while the chicken plant they had it there, and that used to be full of friggin' ice and shit all the time. But it was more slushy. It was more like this in the uh, chiller. <sighs> oh, my bloody fingers are dying here. Shit. Got everything there. Got the bug out bag and the whole nine yards. I've even got the electric <laughs> Not that I uh, would be making a decent use of snow gloves on a regular basis, obviously. Jeez, I just never, like, I've seen sleet, but when we had sleet, it was only like blooming an inch deep or something, and this is like, you know, as you can see, you know, I've got a few inches in here. A lot of this is sort of just sitting on top of the grass, I think. Yeah, the grass is underneath there. There we go, there's your, your typical snow drift. It sort of curves around there. I'll get a photo of that in a second, actually.
squat table. We're heading to the mountain. Over there. I can see the snow on the mountain from here and we're flipping miles back from it. So we're heading to the mountain. She's starting to melt, I think, flowing a little bit. I'll get some photos of this for a few people. I remember I got gloves from work, but I don't think they're going to do much for me. Yeah, she's all just sort of drifted up here a little bit. I think it sits on top of the grass. It's so light! It's so unbelievably light. You know, it just reminds me of snow cones, but like a finer... The car's still only saying it's like... 46 Fahrenheit. It's not going to drop to below freezing on the temperature meter, which I've seen it do before when it wasn't freezing. It's a pretty shitty temperature meter in that car, actually. Oh, let's make a good photo. Hang on. Okay, he's coming up the mountain. God. Fucking slushy shit. There's plenty of guys in 4x4s coming up here, but I'll tell you what. It's only a one lane road and <laughs> when you got a snake off the side it's a fucking mess. And there is mud all over the bitumen. Oh yeah. I don't know how high we can go here. But come on dude, give me a bit of a fucking break. Fucking idiot trying to hog all the road. There's quite a few people up here too. Now the base of the uh, phone tower system. I'll tell you what, I don't have the best traction here. That guy's going down, I'm going to find a parking spot here. I'll slot the bitch in here. Fucking hell, I'm probably parking in a big bunch of mud. Oh! Someone's rolled up a ball. I'll get some footage on the way down because it looks bloody beautiful on the way down. Um, because you've got all the trees that are all sort of half bare with all the snow amongst them. And if I'm not incorrect, I've got snow hitting the windscreen. Which is probably going to melt because it's got the heater running. Anyway, I'll turn off and I'll have a poke around. Oh, there she's cold. And my breath is straight away. <laughs> and the first breath. <laughs> There's a road we come through down there. Oh, this is it's raining. That's no good because it's like at all. Oh, snow amongst all the repeater tower system. That's a that's cell phone system, this one. Jeez, it's temperatures to match, I tell you what. That's raining, we're going to lose half of it if it's just raining. We can go back to snowing again! <laughs> Someone's throwing a mattress down there. <laughs> something else there, hunk of wood or something. Like a bit of blooming chipboard. See it's all square. Well, this would be a blooming uh, service people only track. That's, that's probably the one that goes out to the uh, fire tower system. Look at it all. It's all sitting in the forks of the trees and everything. In case my higher definition stuff didn't work, as I said before, I'll video again coming down, but I'll tell you what. As you can see, like, a lot of these roads, you got a road, I and mean, this is only a service people road, but you've got a road and it just drops like fuck. And they've chiseled these roads out, and honestly, you get another two and a half foot off the side and you'll just drop to your death. Or you'll basically smash the fuck out of your fenders and have to get someone either to tow you around in reverse.
beauty. I'm crunching underfoot again. Ooh. Mm. Crunchity crunch. Yeah, stuck to some of the trees around here. Made a snowman over here. <sighs> Quite a few people been walking through here. The rain's got into it, it's starting to fuck it up a bit, basically. Down a bit further. Mm. Oh, that was slippery. Yeah, she's sort of. Yeah, a bit of snow drift. It's all on this side, but not on that side. I mean, we've had these pretty good winds, so I mean, you can't expect much more. Crunchity, 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 slippity crunch. There goes someone. Fucking wet socks, I think. How the hell do your socks get wet? See, I don't know. Maybe my toes are sweating. It's just weird. Those of you who don't know, these are only about a week or two old. They're $170 boots and they are sealed and sealed. Anyway. Get some uh, more footage going down the hill. Ugh, hands starting to get cold again. Okay, driving back down there. There's quite a few people coming up. I'm trying to hide most of them off camera, but anybody who's got a full drive is up here. This is a ripper. As you get down lower, it looks real beautiful. Said, like you drop off the edge there, you're stuffed basically. I mean, the edge is like the other side, just friggin' sheer thumping down. I don't care about safety today. It's not about safety, it's about the bloody footage today. Jeez, oh, it'd be good if they. The other mountain's the same. You got jack shit worth of bugger all blooming bitumen. You got one lane and you got two lanes worth of vehicles. Well, in this case, you've got one lane, two lanes worth of vehicles as people trying to pass each other on a friggin' rickety little sloshy lane with a bloody death drop off the other side. But the other mountain, they've changed it, where there's one continuous road up and one down, and there's only one point where they cross over and you've got to give way sign. So you're never sort of doing what these two guys are doing at the moment and getting yourself stuck in mud. I don't give a fuck just so long as I don't sink in the frickin' mud and get stuck. Yeah, one set of tyres on the bloody bitumen and we'll be alright. It's all down there. It's all through the paddock there. Don't worry, I've got my eyes on the road still. Get down further. 
trees get thicker and it looks a lot better. Oh, that looks beautiful. That's what we're looking for. This is the sort of stuff we get. It's all coming down. There we go. Look in front of him. Trees and thick snow. Well, not thick, but it just looks nice in the trees like that. Sheer straight up with all this white. This is brilliant. This is the footage. This is the footage. Another 4x4. Four four. It's all sitting on top of the ferns. <laughs> bracken fern. You can actually eat a part in the base of the bracken fern. It tastes like uh, curry. Pretty friggin' strong taste. You'd all expect me to uh, know that, I'm sure. Anyway, I think we're just about at the bottom here, and I'll leave it at that. Okay, this is the uh, other mountain, the one I initially thought I'd end up in. Um, doesn't look like it's got that much snow. Okay, maybe I'm lying. Just from the other side, doesn't look like it's got much snow, but we're coming up this side, so I'll find out as we're going up. There's a decent amount over there, though. And, uh, yeah, this is the one I was saying about where you have, um, Lane to yourself, so you you got no danger. Here we go, one way. Just so long as nobody's coming out on the other side. Gonna go up this one. Oh, you yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. She's amongst the trees up there. Yeah, it's oh yeah. This is better. This is what I was hoping for. Not quite as heavy as the other one by the looks. We'll see when we get to the top, but. I'm on the front side, so to speak. I think I'm on the western side of the mountain, and on the eastern side, there's fuck all, basically. Because I could see the uh, eastern side as I was driving in um, from the other mountain. There's always trees up here that drip on you as you're driving. <laughs> you have those spots on your windscreen. It happens all the time. I've been up here stacks of times. I've been up here other winters, and I'm not joking, the clouds are like just standing, you know, just blowing right beside you. Because it is quite high. And in case you're wondering, I know for a fact this one is an extinct volcano. I reckon they should drill a big hole in the side and rip the diamonds out of it because there might be diamonds in it. Because often that's what you get is diamonds inside extinct volcanoes. <clears throat> of course it's a nature reserve thing just for this little mountain. And uh, same with the other one. Very small nature reserve. Oh, here's your crossover. So you got to, oh, the guys have got to watch for you. I've got no one there anyway. Not that I have to wait for them, but I don't want to run a risk if they're slipping when they hit the brakes. Uh, it's all on the ferns again. Oop, something broke off.
Yeah, it's not sort of as sticky. Someone's, I don't know, doing who knows what. They uh, didn't bother making it to the top because they got their thrills looking at it a bit before they even got to the top, it seems. That road's better here. There's not as much friggin' mud on the road as a result of people not trying to have two cars on the one flame in a single lane. Oh, yes. Now we're talking. Anyway, I better park this thing. Those jack shit, most of it's melted here. Geez, the wind's fairly slamming hard, actually. <sighs> wind's quite a bit worse here than it was. Yeah, not as good as I'd hoped, but then again, I could see driving in here that the opposite side of the mountain was pretty much only had about a quarter of it covered or a quarter of it with anything it still looks nice though Snowman attempt. <laughs> it's fallen over. Yeah. Bloody hell, it's colder here than it is in all the other ones. My stupid temperature gauge still hasn't dropped in the car. <laughs> Kid trying to mess with the ones that have fallen over. Anyway, there's a park down below. Um, I'm thinking of all these things I've uh, still got to go to the Bloomin' Hardware store get some more screws and whatnot. Um, I might as well get lunch too but I'll go down the park in the bottom where I showed just before I come up and there's a lot more gear there some of these things, all these trees are the same but they keep dripping and um, yeah once the water hits it, it all goes from white to just a friggin' sloppy shit ice colour. <laughs> and, uh, and it all just turns into slush, basically. And no one else coming. Let's go for it. <sighs> There's a flaming heater on while I'm thinking of these things, too. But anyway, um, I don't think this is going to be a great real better than coming up so uh, I might just uh, cut it short here and show you the park when we uh, get to the bottom little blue wren there hopping around amongst the uh, slush and snow and shit there's quite a few birds down here in a minute keys out near the power pole or whatever it is. Hmm. This is a bit here, I'll uh, just a couple of female blue wrens as well around. That's a freaking heaps of them. Birds are all acting a bit stupid today. Brain freeze. <laughs> Hopped out of the car before up the top there and this one just stand a couple of foot away from me, didn't know what I was doing. Might be a bit stunned by the sudden cold or something, I don't know. Yeah, this is what it's all about. Messing with another snowman. A couple of trees that have come down here and there too.
don't think that's been down very long. A couple of days at most. Oh, geez, that fairly hit the deck. Yeah, there's not much in the actual park itself, really. This car is going up the hill to where I just come from. No, you probably can't see him. There's one come back down. Yeah, anyway, better look into getting some plain lunch. God, this flipping wind's cold.